Miss Maxwell, you are allowed to make a statement now. Thank you, Your Honor. I just want to say how how sorry I am to my victims. To you, and only to you, all the victims who came to court in, in court, and those outside, I am sorry for the pain that you experienced. I can only hope my conviction and harsh, inc and harsh incarceration brings you closure. Knowing Jeffrey Epstein will forever and permanently be the biggest mistake of my life. I believe that he was a manipulative, cunning, and controlling man who lived a profoundly compartmentalized life and fooled all of us, all of those in his orbit. Those, including me, Your Honor, is the biggest regret of my life that I ever met Jeffrey Epstein. He should have been here before all of you. The, but today is not about Mr. Epstein. It is for me to be ultimately sentenced. It is my sincerest wish to all those in the courtroom and all those outside the courtroom that this day brings a terrible chapter to an end. To those of who spoke here today and those who did not, may this day help you travel from darkness into light. Thank you, Your Honor. Nothing further. I have made my decision on a sentence. Will everyone in the courtroom rise? It is the clearest thing that before Miss Maxwell's statement is that she never expressed remorse for harming and torturing victims for Jeffrey Epstein. And for that, here's your sentence, Miss Maxwell. Okay. I, well, the prosecutors, they've been asking me to make about, make you serve at least 50 to 60, 60 years in jail for your crimes. But, but because you expressed remorse now, I have decided to cut down the suggestions by 40 years. Therefore, Ms. Maxwell, you are given 20 years in jail. Oh, thank God. You, you will not be released from prison until the year 2042, when you're at least age 80. Until then, I will probably I will suggest you to be moved to a Connecticut prison. But as of right now, you are out of solitary confinement. Oh, thank God. So, how did you boys get in here? Uh, Huh. I see. Ah.